Hi there, this is Christian Brothman with North Shore Drums. Today I'm going to start what will be the first of a series of videos on how to practice this timely classic, The Syncopation Book by Ted Reed. And I'm going to start in on page four and five today and just demonstrate um, how, to, how to basically practice this and um, what my methods are in, uh, in sharing this with my students. So in any case, this first couple pages is just dealing with quarter notes, quarter rests, half note rests. So this is a great first introduction to how to read rhythms. Uh, you could use it on drum set or you could also apply it to pretty much any instrument. So in any case, um, starting out, this is um, what I call the basic foot pattern, which we're gonna coordinate with the snare drum. Now, this may be too much to do at first and you may just wanna focus on the snare drum part first, but um, once you get up and running, the basic foot pattern would be quarter notes on the bass drum with a four count, one, two, three, four, hi-hat on two and four. And what I'm gonna do is use like a heel-toe motion. Heel, toe, heel, toe. So put those those two things together, it'd be one, two, three, four. So starting off, we're gonna start with line number one. So this is just a series of quarter notes, nothing really too difficult to navigate. Um, I'm gonna be using a right, left, right, left sticking sequence going like so. And you notice that I am counting out loud with all these patterns and that's a great way to practice this as well. So lots to think about. We got the sticking pattern, we got the basic foot pattern to go with that and then counting out loud. So it's sort of like those three things going. So uh, next would be line number two. In line number two, we have a rest on beat one. So it'd be rest, two. So let me try that again. Basic foot pattern would be on beat one. One, two. So again, resting on beat one. So that's where I'm gonna come in with the left hand on beat two, going one, two, three, four. And that's for example two. Example three, we have a half note rest, so resting the snare drum on beats one and two, but I'm still gonna keep in the foot pattern. One, two, So this sequence this is gonna kind of basically continue um, from lines number one all, all the way to line number 15. Um, I'm just gonna do a few more random and then I'll demonstrate the 16 bar exercise, which is really, that's the goal in this, is to do the sight reading. And so my next pattern that I'm gonna do is line number six. So we have a half note rest on three and four. So it'll be like this. Next up, I'm going to do line number eight. And then fast forward to the next page here where I'm going to do line number 14. So resting, quote unquote rest on beats one and beats three. So number 14 would be one, two, So you may notice like from the very get-go, I was doing a right, left, right, left pattern. Now, you don't have to do that particular sticking pattern, but maybe at first it is helpful to try to keep track of which beat we're on and just knowing that every one and three is gonna be the right hand. Every two and four is gonna be the left hand, but absolutely we can change that as we move forward to get to be more comfortable on this. So last but not least, this is, um, the 16 bar exercise at the end of page five, and this is gonna be a sequence, again, of quarter notes, quarter rests, half note rests. But now that we're actually not just playing these patterns from memory, we're actually having to read them because it's, it's all random, it's all mixed up, basically, based on the patterns that we saw 
in lines 1 to 15. So in the 60 mark to size, um, I'm going to go like this. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to count myself in. Now, one thing I didn't mention yes, um, so far today is that we can also use the metronome. And I would highly recommend that once you get comfortable with um, the counting, the sticking pattern, and the basic foot pattern with that. So the 16 bar exercise would be this. Counting myself in, one, two, three, four. So that's page four and five from Ted Reed's Syncopation book. Definitely go buy this book. Um, it's a great resource. And once we kind of get through all the basic ways of reading um, this book as, as it's first presented, there's a, there's a sort of a unlimited number of ways that we can also use it as far as a drum set uh, type reading book as well, used in different styles of music, rock, jazz, etc. There's, there's many, many possibilities with this book. So it's sort of like, this is the basic beginning stage, and then we'll sort of um, get through the book uh, in first read, and then later we can look at ways that we can play it and use it to um, help us in our sight reading as far as like getting ready to play jazz band charts and, and really any style of music. But um, in any case, Christian Broth with NorthShoreDrums.com. Hopefully you found some value out of this this video today and uh, if you like what I share today please do like and subscribe um, that will help me maintain forward motion in this uh, pursuit that I have and uh, and I look forward to sharing many many more videos with you all in the future thank you so much